Mahan Singh, he's regional consumer analyst for MF Global. Mahan, thanks for coming in. Right. Well, well, okay, you've got a buy on Esprit. Just uh, give us your logic. Well, the critical thing there is that essentially over the last couple of years, they lost focus, essentially in terms of their fashion. And as a result, you saw a complete management overhaul coming through. That overhaul is now complete. So we should be getting the fruits of it? That, uh, those fruits should be coming more to bear in the last quarter of this month. But you can see, you can go to, say, Hong Kong Esprit shops. You'll see the difference there. But generally, it, it, it takes time to change a brand and uh, evolve it or renew it. So that's where essentially it's taking a bit more time. Well, the valuation looks very juicy, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, at uh, roughly single digits, eight, nine times. And you've got a company which is giving a, nearly a 20% return on equity. Yeah. And essentially, so the... Uh, it's a no-brainer by the sounds of things. It's, right. it's the, the, uh, the only thing is in the short term, of course, everybody's being hurt by, of course, their fa you know, fashion issue, but also costs. But let me put it this way, it's down to these levels, A, you say, because of bad management in the past or uh, unfocused, well, un man un un unfocused, unfocused yeah. management. Uh, but, you know, also it fits into that middle market, doesn't it, here? Now, the middle market in Hong Kong and uh, it is surely getting squeezed. It's, uh, you know, how do you maintain market share there? Well, that's where the company, essentially, you've got two things. One, you've got to revive the brand. But secondly, you've got to put new product into the brand itself. So that's where the company is now focusing on. And you'll see uh, that new br uh, product coming through in the next few months. Essentially in spring they did a small launch of a floral campaign, went successful. So but it's, it's a gradual thing. But as for, of course Esprit is one thing, but there are a lot of other stocks like in China still growing pretty fast. Okay, I'm going to go to another company that you rate as a buy here. This is On Bell. I have to confess, I didn't know much about this company, but it's one of the biggest retailers in China. So, uh, you know, what does it do? And uh, 32 is the PE, and you've still got to buy on it. Well, the critical thing is that you've got to focus within China on which companies are benefiting from this current environment and which aren't. And within this environment, say, for example, the sportswear companies, a bit of excess capacity coming through, you're seeing slowdown in growth rates, but Bell focuses on ladies' fashion. Bulk of its product is there, and the, uh, this, in terms of sportswear distribution, it's got Nike and Adidas. Both of them are growing quite well. So essentially, that it's still benefiting from top-line growth going into this year and going into next year. And also, we've had an uplift in the amount of people can uh, take away as taxable income as well in China, or yeah. they have a greater share that is not taxed. Yeah, I mean, and ladies' footwear, their footwear is priced between. 300 to 500. They've got the more expensive brands as well, but the 300 to 500 is their target, and that's where you're seeing that income, extra income coming into the hands of the consumer. Ladies, going to essentially, there is going to be excess, uh, continued buying for the product. All right, well, you know, where does this leave in the retail space? Some of those uh, European and uh, well, European and international mid-market chains. I'm talking about Inditex, of course, owning Zara and Massimo Dutti, and then H&M too. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Personally, I don't cover those companies. No, but I mean, they must but, go for figuring your thinking when yeah. you look at the, the so lights in the spree. So generally, what you can look at is in Hong Kong, for example. And you mentioned the part, you know, Hong Kong sales were quite good. That's mainly benefiting the high-end and the premium brands, plus also department stores. So in that mass market, mid-market, it is quite competitive. And you have to essentially come up with a product continuously to entice the customer to come in. Well, that's Inditex, isn't yeah. it? And Zara particularly, they've been very quick from the catwalk straight to the showroom. And, uh, uh, and not, not just Zara, but uh, in terms of H&M, they bring in new uh, talent and associate their brand with that talent and essentially they market. So Esprit is trying to do the same. They brought in ex-H&M people to help them revive the brand. Mohan, thank you so much for joining us. Mohan Singh, uh, he's uh, from MF Global, just taking a look at the retail space in China, indeed uh, some of the stocks trading in this part of the world, and how they're doing. A buy on Esprit, and a buy also, which we didn't get to, Lee and Fung still, and Anta Sports, I believe. I'm not sure what you've got there. Anta Sports, is it? Anta Sports is neutral because the fact that it's very competitive. Neutral. Thanks very much indeed, of course. There we go. Uh, on Bell also, a buy.